Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on solving an equation with a single algebraic fraction on each side of the equation. So we want to solve this equation and we've got a fraction on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So this one is a bit harder than the previous video on solving algebraic fraction equations. Now to save you time I'm going to show you a quick little kind of mathematical technique. If you had a over b is equal to c over d then we can use something called cross multiplication. And to do that, you can just say that a times the d, so a times by the d, is equal to the c times the b. So the b times the c is bc. That's known as cross multiplication because you can see you're multiplying in this cross-like fashion. That's a cross shape. So we can use the same principle here. And you can use this principle of cross multiplication when you have fraction equals fraction, but you don't have any other terms. So like if I had the plus three, for example, on the end, then we couldn't use this technique because we don't just have fraction equals fraction. We've got some other term there as well. So that wouldn't work. So let's do that here. We can do the two multiplied by the 2x plus 3. I'm just going to use brackets for the moment because when I write this that just means 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3. We'll expand in a second and then we can also do this thing here to complete the cross the x minus 1 times the x minus 6. So x minus 1 times the x minus 6. So now we've got an equation without fractions and in general equations without fractions are easier to solve. So what should we do now? Well, we've got some brackets, so our instinct might be to multiply out these brackets. We've got uh, a single bracket here, expansion, so we do the thing on the front of the bracket times each of the things inside. You do 2 times 2x is 4x, and 2 times 3 is plus 6. And on the right-hand side, we've got two brackets here, so we need to do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we've got the x times the x, which is x squared, the x times the minus 6, which is minus 6x, then we've got minus 1 times x, which is minus 1x, or just minus x. And we've got minus 1 times minus 6 is plus 6. So if I just tidy that up a bit, you've got x squared, uh, that's going to be minus 7x plus 6. Now, remember to solve a quadratic equation, we want to get everything on the side where the x squared term is positive. Now the x squared term is positive because it's 1, positive 1 x squared, so therefore we want everything on this side, so we need to get rid of these terms to leave 0 on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to minus 4x and I'm also going to minus 6 from both sides. I can do that all in one go if I want, so minus 4x and I'm going to minus 6 from both sides. So if I do that, I minus 4x gets rid of that, minus the 6 gets rid of that, you're just left with 0. Um, I've still got this x squared here. If I subtract the 4x, I've got minus 7x, subtract another 4x, that's going to be minus 11x, and the 6 minus 6 just cancels. So I'm left with this, x squared minus 11x equals 0. Now to factorise this quadratic, it's not going to be two brackets. Can you see that when I factorise this, both these terms have x in common, so I can factorise out the x. It's actually a single bracket factorisation. x times what is x squared? It's x. x times what is minus 11x? It's minus 11. And if you're not familiar with how you solve these kind of equations, then please look at my previous videos on this in solving quadratic equations. Now we've got a product of two things equals 0. Well, if a product of two things is 0, one of them has to be 0. So either x is 0, so x equals 0 is a solution or x minus 11 is equal to 0, so that would make x be equal to 11. And you can always substitute these values back into the original equation to check. So if I check with 0, for example, 2 over 0 minus 1, that's 2 over minus 1, which is minus 2, equals, and if I put 0 into here, I get minus 6 over 3, which is minus 2. So that does work, because minus 2 is equal to minus 2.